Hello dreamers, welcome back to PW Medit. So in this video, I'm going to talk about INICT exam. How different INICT is from NEET PG? Is there any particular strategy I have to do while preparing for INICT exams? Is there any particular focus of subjects? Or is there any weightage of subjects for INICT? Or is there any blueprint? Like from anatomy, these many questions come. From pharmacology, these many questions come. From path, these many questions come. Is there any specific blueprint for INICT? Like there is one for NEET PG. And one of the most burning questions for an average student. In my undergraduate days, I didn't get a distinction. I didn't get an honors. I passed the exam. Sometimes it didn't happen as well. But can I crack the INICT exam? Can I sit on AIM study? Or is it only for toppers? Is it not for person who are average and below half? And also I'll share my personal experience in Jibma. So if you're first time to this channel, myself Dr. Ranjit, your pathology educator at PW Medit. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, Please click on the subscribe button. We'll discuss more strategy videos, how to crack the exam and how to learn pathology and medicine in the best possible way. And I'll hope I'll, we will make your journey a little bit comfortable than it. Let's come back to the original topic. So first thing here is, is INICT different from NEET? Colleges which you can enter is definitely different. If you crack an INICT exam, the scores will be used for AIMS Delhi. And most of the peripheral AIMS is where you have the postgraduate seat. You can go to Chitra Eternal of Trivandrum, Nimhans, Bangalore. Jugma Pondicherry and PJ Chandigarh. So these are the colleges you can enter with the scores and need PG's rest of the colleges in the country. That there's a difference. So is it going to be completely different via preparation in, in the means of preparation? I would say honestly, the answer is not much different, but yes, there's a slight difference for sure. So the, any exam in the world, be it your INICT, be it your NEET, NEXT, FMG, USMLA, CLAP, Australian medical exams, any medical exam in the world is going to focus on diseases, which has been there for years together. The only difference is, like you must have seen sometimes me wearing a blazer and sitting and talking, right? Sometimes you may see me wearing just a black t-shirt of PW and sitting and talking. That's the difference. The way they ask the question, there's a slight difference. The focus of the exams, there's a slight difference. It's a very slight difference, subtle difference. If you can catch that, you can definitely climb to the top. So what is the difference? If you look at INICT as such, the past few years, and before that we had AIMS, Jigma, PJ, Chandigarh, different exam. They never follow a set pattern. If you look at the last INICT exam, there are lots of questions which came on basic sciences. If you look at the exam before that, there's more emphasis given on emergency medicine. If you look at the exam before that, there are more emphasis given on practical skills. Some of the exam also had video-based MCQs. So this is what makes INICT a bit difficult because the scope of the exam is a bit wider compared to NEET PG. In a NEET PG, I can funnel down the previous year topics to a very short thing. But here, since every time the topics have a slight variation, the pre previous year topics itself is a bit more wider. So the only thing which I would feel a student to do is put more effort, burn more midnight oil, read all the previous year topics together the past 5 to 10 years. So this will widen the scope of what you're reading because there's no uniformity in the pattern. That's the one problem. And when you read more, you tend to answer the definitely a little bit more compared to the NEET PG. So the effort required for NEET PG and INICT is definitely a little bit higher because the scope of the topic, that's all. Should I know in depth? Should I go back to my textbooks and read? The answer is absolute no. If you're in the preparation journey, going back to textbooks and reading, I would say it's kind of a effort you might waste more time than having a productive outcome so in-depth reading the conceptual understanding is must but going back to books is not required all the previous year topics write down them first solve it one by one and since INICD doesn't have a weightage per subject like if a need pg you have some weightages right so rough weightages blueprint is being given by the nb INICD doesn't have anything focused like that and they don't follow something like that so i cannot say that okay this is a very high scoring subject I'll read them. It's a very low scoring subject. I'll ignore them. Give equal importance to everything and try to vertically integrate. Whenever you read a topic, talk to your friend, discuss with your colleagues and say that, see, this is how I can create a clinical scenario out of it. Process them. Create an algorithm in your mind so that you're ready to solve the questions. You're ready to solve the real life case scenarios which comes in next. It's something which I feel the effort should be made. The second biggest change or difference I feel between INICT and NEET PG is the rank. In NEET PG, you get a rank of 3-4,000, you get a decent seat in a very good college. But in INICT, since the number of seats are very less, you have to be in the top. Top 50, top 100, get a decent one. Sometimes even in the top 10, some things goes away. That is a major difference, I would say that you, in order to get into a prestigious institution and to crack INICT, you put a little bit of extra effort 
to go to the top because the number of seats are not the exam is difficult. Exam is all more or less the same, it is slight. Since the number of seats are less, you have to be in that place in the 99th percentile, 98th percentile to get into it. That's all. That is one major difference, I would say. Should I read different books? Should I use different sources? I would say not required. Maybe solve more MCQs. Most of the standard books are review books, like Robbins is a review book. Amazing clinical questions. As in as a review book, whenever you get time, solve them. Make your skills better own it better so that you have any problem put in front of you you'll be able to solve second thing and one most common mistake i feel aspirants do is they go for these updates like any monoclonal antibody released by fda before even fda gives a press release aspirants will know it right but should i go for the updates my answer is really no do updates come in the exam yeah they do come but what i'm looking for the updates searching for the updates collecting for the updates i miss the main train which takes care of the 95 to 96 percent of the exam question. I want you to focus on that. Updates, we'll see. What you have to do for updates is the exam question which came before, I know that update enough. If the same thing repeats, I'll answer. If a new update comes, don't touch the question because you don't know. Let's accept and let's make sure I don't get a negative mark. That's the only focus I want you to think about updates, nothing else. The most important question, most burning question is, I'm an average student just passed in my exams in my universities. Can I go into IIT? Because yes, every person aspires to be in AIMS Delhi. That's definitely a prestigious tag which you have. So should I go there? Can I go there? Answer is, should I go there? Yes, obviously, if you get a chance, you have to go there. Can I go there? Answer is an absolute yes. I would want every aspirant to listen to this carefully. It's never about a smart, not smart, above average, average or below average. Let us make a tiny variation, but not much. What is more important is, in the six to eight months of my preparation, am I focused? Am I consistent? Am I ready to burn the extra midnight oil? If you're able to do all these three, work smartly around the PYQ topics, you will definitely go far in the race. Because that is more important. So if you are an average student in your university exam, and if you're ready to put your burn your midnight oil now, I'm sure you will sit in Ames Delhi. If you don't believe me, you are on YouTube, right? After this video, search on YouTube. Can an average student is Ames exam? There'll be standing examples. YouTube will flow searches, lots of examples. I wish you will be the next example who might be having a social media imprint saying that I was an average student and I did it. Take it as a challenge. Human beings love challenge, right? Someone sitting there says you can't do it. Do it, show them you did it and rub it on their face, right? So it's not an exam for a topper. It's not an exam for a below average also. It's an exam or any competitive exam is an exam for a person who's ready to work hard and do it consistently in the period of preparation. And then last but not the least, I was Jimma. Jimma was a wonderful thing, right? So my postgraduate time at Jimma was very, very good. Uh, something which I always feel, a Central Institute has a little bit edge over most of the other medical college, not demeaning other medical colleges. Is the teachers there in Central Institute are more dedicated. I had wonderful set of teachers. They taught me everything they knew. The sharing of knowledge I feel is any day superior there with the amount of cases they see, with the amount of infrastructure they develop. And obviously the tag has a special thing for sure. I'm not talking about the tag alone. I'm talking about other things as well. But that definitely heightens the way of medical education, heightens the way of practice, heightens doctor's role and need to follow protocol based approach that is very much followed in most of the central institute i would say that is definitely a good journey what i had and i'm sure most of you guys in future will have that i'm sure you will be inspiring more people in future so that's all about today's video and if you're an nacd aspirant and if you have any more queries put down in the comment box i'll mostly reply to most of your queries and hopefully this journey of yours towards any competitive exam let it in faster and come out and let's practice together as colleagues you till then bye bye from Dr.